And now we are going to move to our next speaker, Juan. Thanks. So hi, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much, Alex, Vane, and the White Labs team for this invitation. My name is Juan Sebastián Ulloa, and I'm excited to present using Python to decode nature's rhythm. In this brief talk, I'll introduce a package I've been developing with colleagues to analyze field recordings. Now, in its sixth year, I want to share key lessons we've learned along the way to better support the community. We frequently ask ourselves how to create an impactful toolbook for the community. And I will highlight five key messages. First, of course, find a problem, a resource gap, and implement a solution. So in passive acoustic monitoring, what we usually have is very good tools that collect lots of data, but processing the avalanche of audio recordings is nowadays the major, major bottleneck that slows down passive acoustic monitoring applications in ecology and conservation. And this is why we developed Scikit-Math, which is an open source modular toolbox for quantitative soundscape analysis in Python. We've been in GitHub since 2018. We have already 100 stars, 22 forks, is now used by 285 repositories and eight packages. So we're very glad that the community is using this package. Second, facilitate interoperability and focus on usability. So consider your target users Ensure the toolbot can easily integrate with existing workflow data sets and tools commonly used by practitioners. So this is why we chose Python, which provides a powerful tool for data manipulation, signal processing, machine learning, and much more. We also decided to make a flat package layout. This is opposed to an object-oriented layout. This facilitates the transition for R and MATLAB users. We spent a lot of time working on a comprehensive online documentation, and we designed the, the package to be a modular to give flexibility in the analysis. So for example, we have the sound module, which allows you to work directly with wave audio recording. So sound load, you load your sound, and then you can compute the envelope, compute the spectrum, compute the spectrogram, everything very easily. Then you might find you might want to find regions of interest. So this second module allows you to segment the data not only in time but also in frequency. And once you know where you want to compute, um, you have the signals of interest. You want to compute some features. So we've already implemented sixty of the most popular acoustic indices, and we have other tools too. We have other, another module that allows you to estimate the sound pressure level of acoustic events. You would require, of course, some data, so the mix sensitivity, the gain, the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of the ADC uh, to get these estimates. And you can use that on another module, which is active space, to estimate the active or detection distance of your signal. You can compute the attenuation factors, and simulate the attenuation at different distances. And of course, since these are models, you can use them uh, sequentially. So you load your sound, you segment your data, you compute features. This is one of the workflows, or you can load your sound, compute, estimate the sound pressure level, and then compute the detection distance. We have everything in an online documentation that includes basic and advanced example to facilitate people to understand all the functionalities that the package has. Then three, ensure accessibility. We strongly recommend to not only publish your code in open source, but also use software that is open source. So this would allow to promote the reproducible research democratize access to the state-of-the-art developments and facilitate collaboration. Four, establish a feedback loop. So this is an interesting feature of GitHub that allows users to report issues, suggest features, and provide feedback easily. It helps 
keep the toolbox relevant and responsive to the user needs. And finally, commit to long-term maintenance. Continuously update the toolbox, fix issues, and support the community as it evolves. When we first started the project, we were working on Python 3.6. Now we are in Python 3.11, and this requires some effort. In conclusion, Python is a fantastic environment for quantitative signal and sound analysis, making it a powerful tool for bioacoustic research. Scikit-Math serves as an accessible gateway to a rapid growing ecosystem of Python tools. Seamlessly integrating with well-known libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, and others. By contributing new features or reporting issues, you can be part of this thriving community effort. We envision a robust ecosystem of open source packages for bioacoustic and epacoustic research to support biodiversity conservation worldwide. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias, Juan. Thank you so much for presenting Scikit-Math. Um, I personally love Python, and I find it simpler and more versatile than compared to R or MATLAB. So it's great to see that a powerful tool available for Biocasis community in Python. Uh, also, for those interested, there is a discussion thread that uh, Alex shared the link in the chat uh, about this uh, packet. So as we are running out of time, I'm going to direct you to that thread if you want, or put your questions in the chat, of course. Mm -hmm.